Mr. President, how you doing? Hey, Mr. President. Let's see. This is this is Obama. <laughs> I don't know if they see me. I believe Michelle was cheering. Yes, we can. As she was just walking past us. Well, they're walking past the reviewing stand right now. We'll see where they're heading. You know, it's uh, it's. This, uh, is a, this is a unique thing, even for you, Wolf. You've seen a I lot. I saw of the things. first lady. There's the first lady what's, over there. What's this like, Wolf? What do you think? Well, you know, we're spectators. We're, we sure are. We're tourists here in Washington. <laughs> we're uh, making is, a mess as well. Here, sit I, down. I think this is sit my down. Blackberry interfering it's with okay. this. It's okay. Sit down. So what do you it, make of this whole thing? Hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold on. I got a lot of static. Service Uniform Division under the command of Chief Kevin Simpson and the United States Service Color Guard, led by Sergeant Salvatore. All right, we're back in business now. We're back in business. There's the president right now. <laughs> it's a little strange to see what was going on. It was, uh, look, this is history over here. Better when they're walking rather than that enormous car. It, it, he seems pretty happy. She seems very happy. Uh, as they get closer and closer, they're going to be walking into the uh, White House, and then they're going to go to the reviewing stand, Kate, and enjoy the parade like all of you us. You know what, Wolf? If you are in political life and this doesn't make you happy, you really picked the wrong profession. Because this is really pretty much as good as it gets. Screaming I'm, thousands of people. Right, exactly. At, at beginning your second term as president of the United States. This is this is good stuff. I'm just looking back here at some of the some of the, the, the fans, the spectators that are sitting behind us, and they're really all just kind of looking as if they're pinching themselves and taking pictures of each other, and they seem uh, just as surprised as all as we were that the president there, walked all the way here. And Jeffrey, you'll, you'll remember, this is, Pe this is Pennsylvania Avenue. He's right in front of the north lawn of the White House right now, uh, approaching 17th Street as in, from 15th Street. And remember, this used to be a regular street. That's Cars right. could go by, but after the Oklahoma City bombing, they shut the, the Pennsylvania down to regular traffic. And uh, there's, there's no real traffic. There's Secret Service cars that can go yeah, up and down the there. Cars right people now. can walk there, but no more traffic as a result of what happened at Oklahoma City. And and, and that was, of course, several years even before 9/11. That 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 that, that, that was 1994. And uh, the city is less accessible than it used to be. And yeah, it's really sure. a lot of Washingtonians. I'm not a native, but they really feel very sad that Pennsylvania Avenue is closed. That was part of living in Washington, that you could drive by the president's house, and you can't do it anymore. Although no. you can walk by, and you can tourists walk. do it all the time. Yeah, do it all the time. You can park at 17th and Penn, and right. uh, go for a walk, and walk in front of the North Lawn of the White House, walk around, and you can see what's going on. Now, there's the Vice President of the United States, watching, uh, waving. They're all pretty excited. And they paved, they repaved Pennsylvania Avenue. You see how nicely it's paved? Right. Because there's no traffic there. It's just, it's just a, basically a pedestrian area where people can go and enjoy the White House. I don't know what, is uh, Dr. Jill Biden, have you seen Dr. I Jill Biden? I was just trying to see that as well. I couldn't see that actually. So now they will at some point make their way to the reviewing stand and then the performance is for them shall begin. And we know there is a lot, a lot ahead. But they really do seem to just kind of be soaking this all in. I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to the marching bands. Did I mention <laughs> I'm looking forward to the floats as well? I, I don't think you mentioned it enough. Wolf, Wolf you staked out a clearly pro-float position. Yes, I am. He's very pro-float. Yeah. <laughs> He's very pro-float in, like, in this show. You like the Macy's Day Parade? I, I like, You're a New Yorker. I'm a New Yorker. I like the Macy's a lot. I like the, I like the floats. Yeah. You know, they have big balloons, but we're not going to have big balloons. We'll have nice floats here. Yeah. Very nice patriotic floats. Red, A lot of red, white, and blue here at, yeah, this, uh, at this parade. Uh, there. We may there even see a volcano on a float in my research I read. So What's the volcano represent? Uh, that will be uh, on the Hawaii float. Oh, really? That's very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> see, I, have, I am a endless, boundless <laughs> fountain of knowledge on the floats this time around. We've done a lot of research on the floats. Yes. Well, so far we haven't seen any of those floats, but we will be seeing them. We sure and will. And we're going to let our viewers enjoy this parade. Uh, here. this.
I think it's fair to say this is a special edition of the Situation Room. <laughs> I think it's right fair here. to say. Very it, special. I think it's also fair to say that uh, Vice President Biden is enjoying himself as well. I don't he know. sure looked happy when he just saw that image the of Vice him. President Biden, and, and you know this well, uh, Jeffrey, he seemed, always seems to be pretty happy. You know, th they are so different. Look at him. You know, Joe Biden was born to be a politician, yeah. sort of like Bill Clinton or even Chuck Schumer, who we saw so much of today. I mean, these are people who really live off this sort of interaction with crowds. Barack Obama is a little different kind of character. He is a more reserved, more cerebral kind of person, although he seems to be having a very good time himself, too. Looks like they're going to get back in the limo for the final little drive into the White House, uh, uh, I guess that's what they're going to do. It's worth looking at that door to that limo. Yeah. Look, how, look how thick it's that door is. Thick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not a Honda. That's not your typical Cadillac. No, that's a no. Cadillac. Yes, it is a Cadillac. It's, that's not something that you just go and say, I'll, I'll take one of those. <laughs> yeah, that's you know? but, uh, but with a different paint job. Yeah, with uh, give me the... Uh, Knows, uh, he really, I mean, he does not even look like he wants to get back in. He really does seem to be enjoying himself. Gentlemen, I would like to tell you, you might want to turn around right now because the vice president and Dr. Biden are about to approach and pass us uh, once again. Let's see if we can do it again. Let's see <laughs> if Joe Biden or Give the old Dr. College Joe try. Biden will recognize <laughs> and, and will say, I'm going to have to stand up. But when, once I stand up, all my wires here, they sort of fall they, apart. He might be able to see. They are very uh, excited to see him. Let's see if we're... Hey, I'm waving. <laughs> You're waving. Mr. Vice President, come on up here. Talk to me. Hey, Mr. Vice President. <laughs> I don't think he wants to talk to you. I think he cannot hear you. That's probably what we're doing. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Vice President. From the presidential Mr. Vice Spain. President. The Vice President of the United States. He's waving. Joe Biden. He's Dr. Jill Hi. Biden. He's happy. Yeah. I think he was waving at Kate Baldwin. No, he was uh, definitely not yes, waving yes. at me. I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah, of course. I know. I don't like to brag, but very you know, special day for Bar that Barack well. Obama is path, you know, has made his last passage on the, one of these parades. Who knows? Joe Biden may be back. <laughs> what do you think? You know, I, you know, it's, it, it's, I think if it were up to Joe Biden, he'd be back. Yeah. Uh, I, I think, you know, he's, he's older than, uh, he would be even older than Ronald Reagan did when he ran for president the first time. Uh -oh. But look at him. He look looks him. in great shape. Uh, Nobody likes in. it better. Um, he's doing a little rope line over there. You see some young kids? He decides that uh, he's going to improvise a little bit. <laughs> he's right down, right below us over here in our, in our area. Just Secret Service do not want to hear. The yeah. vice president is improvising. Right. Sure. <laughs> yeah, this is, you know, you see he's a national board politician. Oh, God. This is Joe Biden in his yeah. element. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Probably went, it's a little different than all those uh, parades in Wilmington, Delaware. He probably used to do uh, July 4th parades. I was a member of the Secret Service saying, please, Mr. Vice President, don't yeah. run towards the side again. No, right. I'm just kidding. He's, he's having a good time. Sure is. You know, we, and he's become so much more. I, so correct me if I'm wrong, Jeffrey. The last few weeks, he seems to be everywhere. Joe everywhere. Biden. Well, and, and I think that really is, 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 and it's no coincidence that people are talking more about his uh, running for president. He closed the deal on on the debt ceiling with uh, with Mitch McConnell. He was the spokesman for the gun um, initiative. These are high profile roles that presidents don't have to give to vice presidents. This is what how important Joe Biden has become in this they, administration. They, they clearly have a, an incredible uh, relationship. Gloria Borger just spent some time with the vice president. Gloria, if you could hear me, talk a little bit about what we're seeing right now. I think you're seeing vintage Joe Biden. Uh, this is the Joe Biden that those of us who have covered him for quite some time uh, know pretty well. I mean, it's, it's unvarnished. This isn't his parade. <laughs> this is not his parade, but he's kind of turning it into his... <laughs> His parade, I think he knows, uh, Wolf, that uh, this could be his, his last parade unless he does run again, and he wouldn't commit to me one way uh, or another. Uh, I think he's surely thinking about it, but we were talking here uh, about how uh, fit Joe Biden is uh, yeah. for a man his age, and I, you know, when I was, uh, I interviewed him in the old executive office building on Friday, look at him run, and that's how he walks down the hall. Uh, at the old EOB and uh, stops to talk to everybody and um, irrepressible. He's also, can I, uh, 
a little bit of a goof. Like, he likes to have fun. <laughs> fun. You know, when you have donors come into the White House who don't feel like they always get enough attention, and it's not the president's favorite thing to pay them a lot of attention, sometimes Vice President Biden will pop out, and suddenly they end up in his office, and he's the one who's really taking care of folks, or a staffer whose family is coming to visit, who spent a ton of time. He's the one who Have you ever seen shows the touch. Enjoy no. As much as he's enjoying this? And here's the he's thing. Loving it. Here's the thing about <laughs> Joe Biden. That Joe Biden is one of these. He's one of these sort of visceral, touchy, hug you politicians who comes up to you right in your face when he talks to you. His heart is right out there. It, Let, let's remember, he's lucky to be alive. He is in great health now, but he was at the abyss with the brain issue years ago, and he just loves this. And you see, yeah. he is the ultimate happy warrior, the if happy you warrior, will. Exactly. He and loves every part of politics. He loves getting into the nitty-gritty and cutting those deals with Mitch McConnell. He's been critical to the president in that regard, uh, but he loves this stuff, and I think Gloria is right in, in the in the front of his mind, he wants to run, and he hopes this is his, is his parade four years from now. But in the back of his mind, he has to know he's 70 years old. You never know what twist would be in American politics. So like the president, uh, very different personalities, but I think the thing we have seen, and Wolf and Kate, you've been closer to it, the thing we have seen front and center is they are both taking their time to soak this Look in him. and I mean, enjoy the moment. He's running, a, yeah. he's, he's doing yeah. laps uh, on the parade <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, you think, don't you think he knows the eyes of the country are on him? Sure. And at 70, sure. he's showing just how vigorous he is, how much he enjoys politics. Right. This is a, he has sort of an infectious optimism, an infectious happiness. And, and, it goes with happy warrior. And David, you know, the thing is, I think he's finally found his zone in terms of yeah. his job. The president and he... Uh, have sort of figured out a relationship that really works for right. them, and I right. think he feels useful. I th my sense is the longer he's in the public spot spotlight, the less Barack Obama's a lame duck. Well, I th that, that's an excellent well, point, and I think if we're waiting now, the president and the vice president are on the White House grounds. They can go inside and freshen up a bit. Their family, mm -hmm. friends, top aides are in that uh, big reviewing stand out front. They will be in there soon to watch what is the main event of this part of the celebration, the parade. You see, that's the presidential reviewing stand right there, the White House right behind it. Uh, they've put that thing up every four years, and it makes Pennsylvania Avenue a great place. This is our version of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, and the president has the best seat right out front. As we wait for the parade, uh, this the moment, you know, you, you talk about these two men, they're very different. Uh, Joe Biden will be interesting to watch in the next couple of years. In your interview earlier, Ladies just the right out of the vice presidential playbook. Sure, I help out, but only because the president gives me the portfolio. Sure, they trust me, but only because they know I'm keep, I'm, the president will take any deal I take. I think one thing that will be fascinating to watch, the president laid out some heavy lifts today. We now have Joe Biden and some other potential 2016 guys talking gun control, an issue Democrats ran from after Al Gore lost in 2000. Is there any point over the next two years where perhaps, like Clinton and Gore, suddenly the vice president's office starts to think, is this good for me? Well, I think I, the one thing Biden said to me, and we're going to show this part of the interview later, is I said, is there any way you might not run? And his answer to that was, if the economy tanks, if things don't go well, this is not going to be great for me, was his sort of implication. If, if things work well, let's take a look at it then. And, and, and that's where they have to work together to, to turn the economy around, because that's, of course, what it's going to be about I in 2016. I assume even if he decided not to run, he would keep that a secret as long as he could, because that's his leverage, isn't it, David Gergen? We knew in the second term Dick Cheney was not going to run in the Bush years, and you saw he lost some foreign policy issues. In the first term, he was dominant. Condoleezza Rice uh, won on some issues uh, in the second term, and he was not a force, as big a force anyway, in the Republican Party because people knew he was not going to be on the electoral battlefield. I think that's right, John. And, and from his point of view, what he also is not, he has to worry not only about whether Hillary Clinton's going to get in, not only about his own age and health, he has to worry about the overall success of this partnership. Mm -hmm. He has a very strong self-interest in seeing Barack Obama succeed because, as you well know, after eight years of one party being in office, it's not easy to hold on to that office. Right. And one of the things that elected, helped to elect George H.W. Bush at the end of Reagan was that Reagan went out on a high. 
He had some trouble in the second term, but he went out on a high, and that really helped Bush get elected. And I think that's very important for Biden that, uh, that President Obama succeed. I, I just missed this one, but the last vice president before George H.W. Bush was Martin Van Buren. I <laughs> 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 Biden has constantly been in and out of the doghouse for saying things that he wasn't supposed to say yeah. for the longest time. And right now he is in, as Gloria is saying, just the perfect sweet spot right. for him because he has succeeded. The thing, uh. the challenge is.